We're back with a brand new game called Invasion of the Halloween Fiend. It just dropped today. It's by the same team that brought us Fight Night. So let's jump on in. a lot of decals in that house. In our house, let's go. Hey. <gasps> that doesn't look like a trick-or-treater. I should probably go see what he wants. I hope that's a trick or treater. What the heck? Uh, hello? Hey. Hey. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. <laughs> hey, it's me, Squeaky Clean Mikey Dean, here for all your tutorial, extraterritorial, and janitorial needs. Are you all alone tonight? Uh, yeah, my parents are away at a party. Hmm, interesting. Anyways. I got a call that this house needs a tutorial. Uh. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Hey. Awesome. So, it's Halloween night, so here's some info. Little Raven Reader, hello. How are you? Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Let's cover some basic buttons. You're, you're talking with me already, so it looks like we've got a smart one. Z to make the text at the bottom of the screen reappear. Uh, okay. Left mouse throws items you're holding. Okay, left to throw. Q to drop. <laughs> R to eat the candy. Let's give it a go. Some things like that dresser can be opened by clicking E while looking at the drawer. <laughs> Inside the top drawer should be a nice old piece of candy your grandma left. I know that because she's one of my clients, if you know what I mean. Miriam, hello! No! Squeaky clean, Mikey Dean! I don't know what you mean! What do you mean? One of your clients, what do you mean? What is grandma doing? Pick it up and click R to eat hey. it. Talk to me when you're done. Always trust trust strange candy. Oh my god. Is that it? Why does the candy look like that? Oh wow. A flavor explosion. <gasps> What did we just say? Oh, wow. A favor explosion. Squeaky hey. clean Mikey Dean. Good job doing what you're told. Now, let's see if you can handle handing out some candy. You see that bowl right there? <laughs> you can spawn unlimited candy by clicking E on it. Imagine. No, don't. That would be a really bad, bad idea. Okay. Uh, you can then pick up the floor candy and give it to the trick-or-treaters. The floor candy? Mm -hmm. Oh no, just an FYI, you can only give candy to one of the kids. What do you mean? That's the ringleader. You know how kids are these days. With their organized crimes and pyramid schemes. <laughs> now go ahead. 
try to give me two pieces of candy and talk to me after you're done. Um, here. Did we do it? And here. Oh, shit. I didn't do it. Give me my candy back. Give me my floor candy back. How do I give it to him? What did he say to do? Mikey Dean is interesting, to say the least. Christian, hello. Welcome back. How are you? What do I... Okay, first of all, first of all. E. It's E. We now know that. We now know that. I should talk to Mikey Dean now. Bada bing, bada well, kid. Bada baby. Good job. He might just make it through the night after all. I gotta get going. Lots of dummies out there. I thought he said we weren't supposed to give him more than one piece of candy. Alexa, hello. I'm so excited for the October games. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Mikey yeah, Dean. Squeaky it. clean yeah. Mikey Dean. Free candy. Hey, wait, hey, wait, come back. Oh, I can't go out there. No. Please narrate a book. I don't want to alarm anyone or anything, but uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on making that happen. I talk to some people that have to talk to some people and they're going to get back to me, okay? That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Ah! Also, I don't know what that accent was. Um, that's not me at all. But, you know, it's fine. Oh my god, it's a little Frankie! And a little Vamper. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Which one he is? The ringleader. <laughs> Which one of you is the narrator? I mean, narrator. I'm reading chat. I hope so. I hope so. I reached out to an author and she got back to me and she is, uh, it's like a little scary, scary story situation. And she's got to reach out to her publisher to see if that's something they can do. Hello? I guess I just give them candy. Nobody wants to talk to me. It's fine. There you go. And there you go. Oh, no. There you go. You're the ringleader. I should talk to the trick-or-treaters now. Trick Seriously, they're supposed to say trick-or-treat first. And then you get the candy. What? Good evening, kids. How's, how's it going tonight? <laughs> Great. Guess what our costumes are. I mean, okay. But I don't know how to change. Oh, okay, there we go. A cool jazz musician. Come on. You're a vampire. Let's go. You got it. Guess what I am. A turtle. Wait. He's definitely not a turtle, right? He's Frankenstein. Let's go. You're old. You would know that. Get off of my lawn! <laughs> get, get off my lawn! Thanks for the candy. See you later. Have a safe night. Fuggin' whippersnappers. Alright, let's go. Come to my house. Take my candy? Call me old? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright. What else do we do in this house? <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Grandma? What is that? Mmm. Okay. 
Wait, was that the doorbell? Sure shit wasn't. What was that sound? What is that? I don't think I'm ready for these October games. What do you mean? They're the best. They're the best. Vortex bathroom. Maggie. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Maybe. Can we open this? No. What if there's a rat in there? I need to look. I have to look. I don't see a rat. I don't see a rat. What about over here? <gasps> we didn't get all the rats in the last game. We are getting the rats here. <gasps> oh, carve the pumpkin. Stop it right now. Do you think we can? Let's go. Oh my God, it's so fun. Sounds like some more trick or treaters are coming. Oh my God. Hide this super clean, awesome situation. Put it, Put it away. Oh no. Okay. Kobe. Oh. Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I should give them candy first. Hello? Oh, a little Michael Myers and a skelly. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can I just keep spawning in camp candy? I feel like there's going to be like a copyright situation. <laughs> Elizabeth, hello. How are you? It's definitely covered in something. All right, let's give them this little... What is that? I think that's like taffy or something. Trick or tree. Whoa. Super scary outfits. <laughs> yeah, you look super creepy too. But... I'm not wearing a costume. So scary. <laughs> See you later, loser. Um, I hope you kids develop a severe peanut allergy. <laughs> we didn't say that. Or did we? We definitely did. What else can we do? Oh yeah, we're looking for rats. Oh, that's my father's secret room. I'm not allowed in there. Father's secret room. I was in there last night. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, we got spirit animatronics up in here. Let's go. Oh, <gasps> it's time to get freaky. The Friday night freaker. Oh my god. That's from Bite Night. That's the old man from Bite Night. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> oh, and a wrap. Um, can we watch anything? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Right here. Is this our room? <gasps> Look at our little graveyard decoration. That's so cute. Mm, nothing to see here. <gasps> Another creepy bathroom situation. Oh, 
I wonder why that happens in the bathrooms. What was that? I don't see any other rats. Let's get out of here. Make a phone call? No. Eat some pizza? No. Oh no! Uh, can I take these outside? <gasps> yes, we can. I placed one of three. I don't want to place this pumpkin here. Maybe another spot. <laughs> yes. Look at him. Sounds like another trick-or-treater is coming. Oh, let's get back inside and act surprised. <gasps> let's turn off the lights. Yes. It's the vamper from, um, from Bite Night. Hey, you! Blah, blah, blah. I missed you so much. Wait, you're not a kid. Blah. I'm not giving you any candy. You're an adult. Blah, blah, blah. No, get out of here. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. He's so loud. Oh my God. Get cries and bleh. <laughs> what was that? I heard something in the back door. I should probably go check. Mm. Uh huh. Yep, we should probably go check. I didn't know we had a back door though. We haven't been here. Oh my God, there's a rat. Oh my God, there's another rat. Who's uh, keeping tally on the rat situation? <laughs> Fuck you little shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. With candy? What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> Whatever that was, it sure made me hungry. I should take my pizza upstairs. What in the candy pentagram situation? <laughs> Kids. All right, let's go. Time to eat our pizza. Upstairs. Oh my god, that scared me. Um, where do you think we go? Definitely not in there. Do we just sit at our desk? No, we probably watch something on the TV now. Yes. I sense the presence of greatness may be arriving soon at my door. Can you eat the demon candy? What does that mean? Oh my gosh, is the Dracula coming back? I feel the presence of greatness at my front door. Um. Oh. 
Oh wow, <laughs> salty and sweet. <laughs> mm, so good and tasty. <laughs> Holy shit! What's this guy doing? What's up? Oh wow, it's the local legend. Tinfoil man. You look so cool. Tinfoil. That's right. It's me. Tinfoil man. Fighter of evil. Preserver of food. You're so heckin' cool. And your costume is the best one I've seen all night. Tinfoil. <laughs> Silly citizen. This outfit is more than a costume. Protects me against... Enemy brain control rays. Let's go. Wow, stylish and functional. Who would have guessed? Tin for you. <laughs> That's right. Now let a Jimmy or Susie or whatever your name is. Have you seen any evildoers on this Halloween night? Other than some rotten kids, I haven't seen anything to report, Tinfoil Man. Well, if that's the case, I must go now. I haven't got any time to waste. I can feel the presence of evil getting stronger every second on this Halloween night. Tin for you. I'm tingling with anticipation that a great battle will happen tonight. And I am this town's only hope to survive. So cool. Good luck with your fight against evil. Tinfoil man, away! Not the Naruto run. Tinfoil man, away. Good luck, Tinfoil man. I hope he's all right. I should probably be brave like him and watch the VHS scary movie upstairs. Should we? We should absolutely go upstairs and watch that VHS movie. <laughs> Here we go. We'll set that. No. Oh. Well. There we go. Time to sit on the couch. Is that our bush? Oh no, we fell asleep. It's a home video. Oh geez, I must have fallen asleep watching the movie. Must be getting pretty late. Oh, I thought that was our house. <gasps> oh my God, it's the gas station from Bite Night. <laughs> we saw nothing. Is that? It's a gas station from Bite Night. That old man is everywhere. All right, let's. Hey, stop. I'm stuck. I'm gonna live, kill you in your sleep. Live, 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 live. What? Who's what? Hell no. Who said that? Who said that? Those aren't kids. Those aren't kids. They're here. They're here. Um, what do they get? What do they want? Nice. Okay, we're ready. Um, hello. Welcome to this planet. Uh oh my god. I thought that was someone. I thought that was someone. It's a decal, we're fine. Uh, for you? Okay. 
It wasn't letting me give it for a second. An eyeball? Yes, let's go. Oh. And well, whatever this is. Whoa, cool costumes. It's sweet that you guys all dressed up the same. You're not kids. You guys having uh, fun tonight? <laughs> Tough crowd. Uh, oh, the silent type. Uh, well then, take me to your leader. <laughs> get it, get it. No? Okay. Um, but you guys are fun at parties, too. I'm gonna go now. I need to turn off the lights before I go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Not going anywhere without this... Without this sweet, sweet protection. Oh. Turning the lights off, huh? I don't know where this light switch is. Oh, maybe right here. Up the stairs we go. There are 13 lights on, that's crazy. Still can't get in there. They're downstairs. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Oh no, where's the last light? Looks nice and dark to me. One in the living room. Where? Up here? Oh, oh my god. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't go up the stairs. Come on. Get it, get it at a different angle, you know what I'm saying? In here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Boom. Oops. Boom. I should go to bed now. Okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> what the hell was that? I should look around to find out. Mr. Funny Dummy? <laughs> What the? What? what are you doing? What is that? I should talk to the gnome on top of the tombstone. It looks like their leader. Uh, hello? Leader? <laughs> I bet you're wondering why we're here. You see, we are the magical gnomes of Halloween. <laughs> Chucky? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> and we have seen that you've been such a good little hollow kin. So we decided to give you the opportunity to win one Halloween wish. A Halloween wish? You must answer the following five questions right to get your Halloween wish. <laughs> but if you fail, it will be your doom. 
Do you accept the challenge? Of course. Of course we do. Of course we do. How hard can the questions be, really? Excellent choice. I could tell you are a smart one. First question. Which direction is the spooky land of Antarctica? What? Which direction is the spooky land of Antarctica? From where? Is that a thing? Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> Okay, but wait. Does it matter where you are? Does that change? Does that change? It's south, right? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's south. If 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 I if I had to guess, uh, yeah. South. Interesting choice. Because it was the right choice. Let's go. We got this. On to the second question. Would you rather fight a man with pumpkins for hands or a pumpkin with men for hands? What? A man with pumpkins for hands? Or a, a pumpkin with, with men for hands? Okay, let's think about this, though. Let's think about this. Okay. Do they mean man hands on a pumpkin? And is the pumpkin stationary? Like, is it just like a carved out pumpkin? Is it a hollow pumpkin? Is the pumpkin hard? Is it kind of big? Like, can we just take a bat to it and it's done? Hands or no hands? Because I wouldn't want a man swinging a giant pumpkin at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't sound great. But I feel like we could take the pumpkin out. Unless it's like the pumpkin from Return to Oz, where it's like on a body and everything. Swinging men around. <laughs> We're gonna go a pumpkin with men for hands. Right answer. I mean, wait. How do you answer Jeopardy style? What is pumpkin with men for hands? <laughs> Wrong answer. Shit, run! Clearly, a man with pumpkins for hands would be the easiest to defeat. A man with pumpkin for... No. Do you know how heavy pumpkins are? One swipe in the wrong spot and you're knocked out. A pumpkin will knock you out. What are you talking about? Because a man's hands would be so soft and unable to grasp a weapon. They are weapons. Oh. And now that I'm thinking about it. A pumpkin with men for hands would be really easy to fight. Exactly. The men would be too small to move the pumpkin. And you could sneak up behind it and smash the pumpkin, becoming victorious. <laughs> yes. All right. I see your point. You passed this question. Yeah. Yes. Let's carry on to the final question. I thought he said there were five. But this is only three. <laughs> We're done. We're done. I'm cooked. That's it. I can't. It's, a, it's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. A math question? Oh, the horror. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Let's see here. You just got back from trick-or-treating. My God, it's a fucking word problem? <laughs> Inside your pillowcase, you count 127 candies. God fucking damn it. Shit. 127 candies in my pillowcase. <laughs> A spooky ghost comes along. The ghost... <laughs> the ghost steals 37% of your candy. Oh my God. 
An evil werewolf then creeps in through the window. Scary, right? <laughs> the werewolf decides to steal a goblin's toe worth of candy. <laughs> what? Something about a werewolf and a goblin's toe? Then comes the scary vampire. He feels bad for you and gives you two pieces of candy. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. You wake up in the middle of the night to check your sack. As one often does. How much candy is remaining? Okay. So we started out with 127 pieces of candy. All right. Then the spooky ghost took 37% of that. Okay. Then the werewolf took a goblin's toe worth. And then the vampire gave us two pieces. So... Two is the obvious answer, right? $47.99. <laughs> um, a goblin. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. How big is the goblin? Exactly. Let's be real. Let's be real. Okay, a goblin. How big is the goblin? I don't remember the conversion for goblins' toes. Well, shit. I feel like they want us to say forty-seven ninety-nine, though, right? Because that's the one that's like obviously mathematically forty-seven point nine nine is the correct number. But what if it's not? What if it really is two? All right, all right. We're going with forty-seven ninety-nine. What is what is forty-seven ninety-nine? Wait, what? Oh. Nobody has ever gotten that question right before. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Never in all my time. Wait, we did it. Of course not. I should have known you were a fake hollow kin. It is time for your doom. Where am I? Maybe that old man knows. He was lying the whole time. He said there were five questions. There were three. He didn't even give us five questions. There is no wit. Ah! All right. Um, excuse me. Uh, hello? Oh. They brought you here too, huh? Yeah, but I got something special. I got something special, right? Because it's in our hands right now. You won't stand a chance. Those evil Halloween gnomes. <laughs> if only I could get my hands on them. How long have you been here? Hey. Oh, about... Maybe since last Halloween, I'd say? You've been stuck here that long? Yeah, stuck in between these four walls. Have they been tormenting you this whole time? Mm, no, not really. They just kind of left me here with my thoughts. Where'd that thing go? Oh my gosh. Been kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I have lots of time for self-reflection. I figure once I get out of here, I'm going to start all over. Maybe open up a small snack bar on the coast. Have you been doing anything else with your time? Uh. Screaming mostly. Want to hear? No, not really. Uh. 
looks pretty good. S s solid. Yeah. Okay. I get it. The first one was better. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the hell has been screaming? The gnome leader. That dude over there. <laughs> See? Be gone, old man. I no longer have use for you. Wait! No! Please. Now's your chance to put your skills to use. Huh? Wretched old man. Well, at least I, at least I now have a new plaything. Wait, where'd he go? Well, well, you are trapped in my dungeon for committing an act to fool on Halloween. This time, however, I will not make the mistake of keeping my plaything around all year. Damn Void hasn't finished ripping his soul from his body yet. Well then, if the Void isn't working too well tonight, I suppose I will just crush you between these four walls. Please don't scream as much as the last one. But why? <laughs> because I'm evil. <laughs> Time to not be here anymore. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Mwah. Uh, uh, oh no, the walls are closing in on me, I think. Um, okay. Time to go. Oh no, my knife! Got it back, got it back, got it back. But I don't know what to do. What'd it say? What'd it say? Did it tell me to do anything? I have to just... Oh no. Oh no. I just have to stand here and take it? Ah! Help! Help! What do I do? This is activating my claustrophobia. But what do I do? R. Zoom. Z. Q. Oh my gosh. What was that dream? Anyways, sounds like someone's at the door. Let's freaking go. That's what I was thinking of. A pumpkin with man arms. Oh no. Oh no. I threw it into his head. There's a strange person at the door. I should talk to them through the window. But what? But keep the door closed. But first. Oh wow. Salty and sweet. Um, hello? It's kind of late to be, uh, trick-or-treating, don't you think? Sorry, but, mm, we're out of candy, too. Man, what's this guy's problem? Can you hear me? I said we're out of candy. So I'm gonna go now. Maybe try another house. They might still have some candy left. Why is he just looking at me? I should probably phone my parents about this. Don't, don't take your eye off him. Hello? Mom, there's a guy here and he won't leave. What do you mean there's a guy here? <laughs> there's a guy standing at the front door and he won't leave. Is he a trick-or-treater? I don't... I don't know, maybe. He's really tall though. Taller than me. Well, is the door locked? Yeah. The back door too? Uh, did you lock the back door? I'm not sure. I'll call you right back. I need to lock the back door. Fast. 
I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do you mean he got me? I got stuck on that butthole of a car. That's what happened. That's what happened. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Speed run. What in the guitar hero is happening? <laughs> Hello, mom, mom, no, there's a guy standing here. I don't think he's a trigger traitor, mom. He won't leave. No, the door's locked though. But he's super tall, but is the back door locked? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, mom. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. All right, what if we go this way? Did you want? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Can't go out the front door. Maybe we need to go into Dad's secret freaky room. Or not, where do we go? In one of the bathrooms, maybe? Back to our room? Maybe in here? <gasps> Why is there a rat in here again? Maybe we come in here? I don't know, though. Like, I don't think it's just gonna be opened up, you know? Uh, I don't really know where to go. Maybe we just loop him and go back outside. You know what I mean? Like come around here, come around here and then go back through here. I don't know. Can you lock the back door first? No, I don't think we ever get a chance to, right? Yeah. Um, why? Wait, why are all the rats back? I don't get it. Can we get in the car and just take off? We don't got no keys. <gasps> um. But also, also, why are the freaking rats back? We don't have a plan. We don't have a plan. If I go upstairs, we're stuck. But I can keep looping him down on the bottom. Maybe we fight back? Mom, I wouldn't be calling you if it was a trick-or-treater. Mom, I gotta go! Oh my god. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't know what we're doing, but we're here. And three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one! Ooh, he's fast. Wait, he's fast. 
Oh my god! Going upstairs! He's really fast. He's really fast. I don't know where we'd go. It doesn't look like there are any like hiding spots. Huh. I wonder if we come back in, I don't, uh, I don't know. Come back in our bedroom and just go to sleep. <laughs> Act like it never happened. Maybe I can get into one of these closets after the chase starts. So maybe we'll come up the stairs. I don't know, he's really fast. It's worth a shot. I have no idea. I have no idea how to be safe from that guy. No idea. <laughs> you love my sweater? Thank you. Um, we can't hide in the closet. We can't go out the front door. Okay, well, what if we loop him and go back out the back door? What if we loop him and go out the back door? And get him trapped in the candy pentagram situation. Let's go. That's the plan. But he didn't get trapped by it coming in the back door, though. Oh, no, it's probably a bad plan. Oh, no. I'm second guessing the plan. <laughs> Loop, if not, then upstairs. I just don't know where to go upstairs. Maybe we can get in dad's room? After the chase starts? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try to go out. Let's try to go. Let's try to loop him and then come outside in the backyard. Oh my God. I got stuck. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo! The kids. Ha! 
help! Wait. 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 I feel like that has to be something. Why are those kids out there? Was I supposed to press something? Like E or something? You got stuck on the kids, maybe? Yeah, let's try. Let's try that again. That's crazy to have to keep doing this over again. <laughs> like maybe just cut to the phone call. Lock the back door fast, and that's all it says. <laughs> Shit, why did that take so long? Oh my god. Oh my god. Here he comes, 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 here he comes. Kids help me, kids help me, kids help me. Kids help me, kids help me. I can't. I'm stuck. Fuck! Maybe I should try to go all the way around the kids instead of through them. I don't know why I was trying to like zigzag through them, but that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, dang it. What should we do upstairs? Oh, try should we try to go in dad's room? This game is called uh, the Halloween or Invasion of the Halloween Fiend by the same people that made uh, Bite Night. Just came out today on Steam. Let's freaking go. Oh my God. I was like half going up the stairs, half not. Oh. I could have got to the door. Whoa, the kids are just, yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's go upstairs. Kids are just standing there, like letting it happen. <gasps> Maybe the kids summon the freaking pumpkin man. Help! You think maybe the kids summoned him? Hold on, let's see. I don't know where else I could go upstairs. What if this guy can help me? Do you think maybe the wolf can help? Like, what if I come over this way? I, I really don't know. Because there's not really anything to do up here. can't hide in any of the closets or under the beds and I can't run out the front door and I can't fight back
We will have to try every exit. Yeah. I'm going to bring him up. I'm going to see if he can't get trapped by the werewolf. I really thought I could run run out behind them kids. But now I'm thinking maybe the kids summoned him and that's why we can't get out that way. <laughs> Damn it. What's worse? I hate knowing there's another freaking ending. And I can't get it. But also, also, we do have another game to play. Let me go! <gasps> oh, Let's go! You just had to be quicker than that. Mom? Is everything all right? I think that guy tried to break in the house just as I was locking the back door. Stop it right now. Are you sure? All this time. <laughs> yeah, he shook the door and everything. Okay, sweetie, everything's fine now. It's probably just someone pulling a Halloween prank and trying to scare you. Did the guy leave? Uh, I don't see him anywhere, so I guess he left. See, honey, it was just a prank. Me and your father are just about to leave the party. We won't have a phone while we're driving, so try to get some sleep until we get there. There's nothing to be afraid of. Mom? Mom? Oh, no. The power went out. Maybe I should go hide upstairs in my room. Okay. Now we can hide. Guys, guys, now we can hide. Proceeds to just stand there and not hide. Oh! I got scared. I got scared. Where's my room? It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I can't. I can't hide in here. He just broke in. I need to find something useful in the searchable drawers. I have. I have something. I have something. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it. I don't know. Oh, I found something better. The hunter has become the hunted. You hear that? You hear that? Dual wielding. Dracula? Where's this guy? Here he is. One and done. That should take off his mask and reveal the identity of this monster. One and done, homie. I have a bad feeling about this. I should step back. That's a lot of shit. Uh... What's happening? <laughs> Follow directions. Follow directions, it said. Step away. That's all we had to do. Crap! That's all we had to do. Was step away. Oh. 
Um, where was that? Where was it? Where was it? Where was the pew pew? Right here? 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 We're curious. You're not wrong. You're not. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. We have a problem. We have, we have, we... We have a problem! Shit. Mm, so good and tasty. another drawer oh my god he's coming where's another drawer oh my god <gasps> ah! <gasps> Two can survive. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Then no, you're lucky I survived all that shit for that glitch. Mm. Ah! Fuck. Okay, it's fine. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Alien time. Now stay back. <laughs> we love the little Halloween music, though. <laughs> Get your foot blown completely off. <laughs> Mom, Dad! They had fun. They had too much fun at the party. Not dressed up as nothing. That's crazy. Mom, Dad, I don't know what happened. There was a guy, and he broke into the house. He chased after me with a, and then I didn't know what to do, so I, uh, him. I thought he was, but then I think he turned into an alien. I'm so sorry. Why aren't you saying anything? Because they're the other two aliens. They're the other two aliens. Shoot! Now! Mom, dad... the pumpkins there's a lot of shit also i'm so sorry shoot the aliens shoot the aliens shoot pew 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 aliens Bugs kill. what what do you say 
How many are there? Because we did it. Or did we? Is that, is that my arm? I should talk to the alien and see if he'll give me my arm back. Um, hello? Potty human, or pu- <clears throat> Run it back. Puny human, you thought you could defeat us? We are going to destroy every last one of you. That's what your kind gets for being greedy and not sharing your candy. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I don't understand. We came to your planet. And at first, you met us with open arms. Every place showered us with gifts of gummies, chocolate, and inedible squishy rocks you call candy corn. One piece a year, one tiny candy corn a year. That's it. That's it. It's tradition. But as the night went on, your kind became more and more hostile to us. Eventually yelling at us or refusing to answer the door. We even tried to disguise ourselves, but to no avail. Due to this greed, you shall all perish. No! Wait! This is because people stopped giving you candy? Yes, tiny human. Your wrinkle-free organ is correct. <laughs> this is just a big misunderstanding. You guys probably went trick-or-treating all night until really late. What is trick-or-treating? You aliens came on Halloween. The one wonderful night of the year where everyone dresses up and collects candy. You silly aliens probably kept asking for candy way too late into the night, and people got mad at you. That's why people stopped giving you candy. Not because they hate you, but because Halloween is over. Never. It's never over. Wait. You don't hate us? Well, I don't know about now. Oh my gleep glorp. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Sorry about your arm. Guys, this was all a big old misunderstanding. Stop the annihilation. Is there anything I can do to make this up to you? Can you reattach my arm? I'm an alien, not a wizard. Sorry, buddy. So if we just come back on Halloween, you guys will share your candy with us? Uh, you'd, have to, you'd have to ask the government, but maybe. Yeah. Wow, you humans are so nice, innocent, and peaceful. Well, looks like it's about time to hit the old dusty trail. Sorry for the mess. Everybody, back to the ship. Sleep floor, bah. Captain, that human cat. Oh, that human blanked Gleep Glorp AX5ZK inside his house. Wait, you offed Gleep Glorp AX5ZK? Gleep Glorp AX5ZK was my 512th son, you monster! Please, I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. I was defending myself. Hmm. Glorp Gleep. I should probably blank you for blanking my son. I did blank your parents and everybody else, you know. 
And I ripped off your arm and destroyed your tail. And hit you with an invisible beam that makes it so you can no longer enjoy the sweet taste of candy. Which has a side effect that makes it so you can no longer have kids. Wait, what? So, let's just call it even. Bye-bye, insignificant human. Thanks for all the tasty Halloween treats. Can't wait to visit again next year. Happy Halloween! <laughs> what a freaking butthole. Yes! We love this game. So if you haven't played Bite Night, play it! If you haven't played this one yet, it just came out today on Steam. Invasion of the Halloween Fiend. It was cute. I loved it. Not Tinfoil Man. Tinfoil. Don't worry, citizen. I have arrived. Now, where are those dastardly aliens? You're too late, Tinfoil Man. They already left. Tin for you. I knew it. They must have been too afraid of Tinfoil Man to fight me, so they ran away. Didn't he get bagged? Uh, I don't know if they even ever saw tin you. For you. Silly child. Clearly they could feel my static charge aura and flood the battlefield. Wait, didn't you get hit by lightning? I thought you... We're no longer here. Tinfoil. Nonsense, tiny brain. That was simply me charging up. <laughs> but that old man carried you away in a blank bag. Oh, the wizard? Tinfoil. He simply took me to his lair under the highway overpass and fed me healthy potions. You think maybe you can fix my arm? Tinfoil. Anyways, enough of talking about how great I am. This has been another great victory for... Tinfoil. Hey, Flower! Oh, my God. <laughs> Get dang it anyway. Like we were saying, fucking 100 out of 10, let's go. Let's freaking go.